Hello to you, my faithful 12 subscribers. Oh, 11. As you all know, the Eaton 5 Science Fair is only weeks away. Marcy Holloway already has her dad's laborers working on a miniature thermosonic energy reactor because evidently all the money in the galaxy can't buy you originality. Smash the system! Sorry. Smash the system. Good news, my 1.7 million subscribers! In this tutorial, we're going over Gage from Borderlands 2. And yes, all the clothes are painted on, and I'm wearing a top. In addition to the body paint tutorial, New Me has also sponsored a hair portion of this video, which you guys will be finding at the end of the video, to show you how to curl your locks. All the products that you say will listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Gage, out! Go ahead and prime those pretty eyeballs. I'm then applying a light eyeshadow to be able to blend the orange eyeshadow into next. To line my eyes, I'm using a damp brush and red-brown shadow. Go ahead and fill in your eyebrows, and since I'm a natural redhead, I have more of a red color, but since she's more of an orange redhead, I'm also tapping out a little bit of orange eyeshadow on top of that. I'm then contouring my face using powder since her face is slimmer than mine, as well as adding a little dimple underneath my lip. To draw in all the Borderlands lines details, I'm using brown body paint and a very thin brush. I first painted on the band-aid using a light tan body paint, but didn't quite like the color, so went over that with a tan eyeshadow. Once again, outlined that using the brown body paint, but did it more in a messy, drawn fashion. Continue with your sketchy lines, including outlining your eyebrows and filling in some eyebrow hairs. Going into the clothing, I'm first starting out using a dark gray mixed with a little bit of purple for her vest. I swear, I could dress like this girl every day of my life. I'm then using white body paint to fill in the skull of what will be on her shirt as well as gray to fill in the eyes. We're basically just laying down a base of everything at the moment. Apply red body paint for her shirt and then mix in a little bit more black to make a dark red and gradually add the shadows around the corners of the shirt. All the way down till you get to black. To create the top of the shirt, I'm using brown body paint and then once again gradually mixing in a little bit of black body paint to create the shadows from the vest. All the way down till we get to black. Using this black body paint, I'm also going to outline each section as I go along. To create the inside of her collar as well as the patches on the top of her vest, I'm using a dark brown mixed with gray. She has different coloring and different lighting, so this is pretty much what I went with. Once again, go back to the black body paint and outline all the details on these sections. This includes shading the patches, shading the inside of the vest, and just generally darkening up some areas. To create highlights on the vest, I'm using a light gray eyeshadow. And to create some shadows on my vest, I'm using black eyeshadow. You don't want it to look too hyper realistic because the style of the game is drawn. Taking white body paint and then continuing to add more highlights throughout the entire outfit. This includes on our patches, on our vest, on the inside of our collar, wherever the light would naturally hit. Using red body paint, create her shirt sleeve. Be sure to leave a little triangle open for the symbol on her shirt as well. Fill in said symbol using white body paint. Create the edge of the t-shirt using a mix of brown and gray body paint. And of course, once again, add in your drawn details. For the robo arm, I went ahead and used gray body paint and then went in with a darker gray body paint and a fan brush to create somewhat of metal looking texture. And you can then go in with black to add the details. On her other arm, once again, create the sleeve using red body paint as well as outline the bottom and give it drawn details. For the collar, I used gold and silver for the parts, then filled it in with black and highlighted the top using white body paint. Although her hair is not curly in the game, I just thought it would look super cute curly. And to do my curls, I'm going to be using the Lustrum set from Numi. Which, if you guys have seen my previous videos, you guys know I've used this set before. The way that I curl my hair, since it is very fine, I divide it up into three separate sections. First is doing the bottom section. And I curl my hair going away from my face. Because I already know I'm putting in pigtails, I'm only curling the bottom. And when you use wands like this, please be sure that you wear the glove. It's going to protect yourself from burning yourself. The trick is, whatever side you are working on is the hand you want to have the glove on. You are welcome. I I saved you the confusion. The Lostrum set, as you may know, comes with five tourmaline infused ceramic barrels. And these guys just pop on to the actual wand. 
And to curl my hair for this look, I'm using the 25 millimeter, which pretty much seems to be my favorite. The set also rocks because it comes in a little carrying case, I guess you could describe it as. It's very easy to travel with. One cord, five barrels, you guys can do whatever curls you want. And because this is around the holidays, even though it's not related to the video at all, you guys can get 20% off the entire holiday collection using the code ROCKTHEHOLIDAY. Or you could also get any set for $89, plus free shipping in the US using the code MERRYCHEER. Once my whole head is curled, I am not brushing out the curls, just leave them alone. Now my bangs are actually on the opposite side of the character, so I'm flipping that around and then putting my hair in pigtails. 